Hello everybody. In this video, we will look into an example of crosstalk simulation using shielded cable. This follows a series of videos I've been creating for learning different aspects of EMC using cable modeling and using Altair FICO. Since we have completed the previous example, which is the shielded victim cable irradiation, now it's time to do the shielded cable crosstalk. So for a crosstalk, we require two cables. So let's modify the existing design. So please open the shielded victim cable irradiation file and we will proceed from there. So this is the file for the shielded victim cable irradiation. Now the first thing is to save this. So I'm going to go as file, save as, and give it a name of your choice. Once completed, since we are doing crosstalk between two cables, we can still keep the far field and near field as excluded. It is not required. Also, let's remove the plane wave source. So right click and hit exclude. And let's increase the height to seven. The reason for doing this, you will see in a bit because we are going to add two cables. So we don't want to have the cable interfere with the ground plane. So now click on bundle one under cable cross section and add an additional single conductor. So this will put two cables next to each other. So if you leave it the auto bundle, it will automatically bundle those two cables. But if you want to manually position them, say for some reason you want one cable to be at certain distance from the other, uncheck auto bundle and use the offsets to define your location. So in this case, let's keep the auto bundle on. So leave the rest of it the same and click OK. So now you added two cables in this cable path. Since we had two cables, we need to add an additional pin to the connectors because now we have another additional center conductor. So click on cable connector one and add an additional pin. Click on cable connector two, add an additional pin. Now click on the cable instance to check if all the three signals are part of the design and assign the source and destination for signal three, which is pin three for both the source and destination and click OK. So this also routes the cable. So the next thing we need to do is to set up using the cable schematic. So click on cable harness one. You can see an additional pin coming here. But you can see that signal one and signal two are basically the center conductors and signal three is the ground. So in this case, disconnect pin two from the ground and connect pin three directly to the ground. So to perform crosstalk measurements, we don't need the probes. So we compute the S parameters. So just click on them and delete. Now let's assign cable ports to both the pins and then we will compute the S parameters between the ports. So under source load, click on cable port, assign port one uh, to pin two and connect it to ground. Same way, let's uh, change the resistor's position to pin two, because we want to compute the crosstalk between pin one and pin two. So basically between these two cables. So let's assign a port for one side to pin two and the other side to pin one. So we can compute S21 and connect it to ground. Now we need to assign voltage sources for port one and port two. This is similar to how you assign a voltage source for your antenna. So go under sources, right click, voltage source, and assign port one, add, and assign a voltage source to port two, create. So this will create voltage sources for both these ports. The next thing is to request the S parameters. So go under request, request multiport S parameters, 
add both the ports, make sure that both of them are active and you have chosen both one and two. So it will compute those parameters between one and two. You have two options. One, you can look at the results in PostFico and export, or you can directly export those parameters as a touchstone file, which is the .snb file, if you enable this option and hit create. So this will create an additional configuration, the S parameter configuration. So the next step is to make sure we assign crosstalk to the solution model for the cable harness. So click on cable harness one, modify cable harness, change it to crosstalk and click OK. So we completed the setup for the crosstalk. For the crosstalk, it, the S parameter configuration is just enough. We can exclude the standard configuration. So click right click and hit exclude. Now let's run this. So it computed this parameters. Click OK and click on PostFico. Click on Cartesian. Click on S parameters. Plot S21, click on DV. So this gives you the coupling between the two cables. So this comes to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching.